Welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are going to talk about a couple of things of the Capcom stick. And the more the more I like the subject, what is so shitty about it and what did they messed up? All right, so a lot of complaining about a lot of things. And I also did some discovering of some little minor issues that I found out. And I just wanted to show you because a lot of you were thinking about buying this. And I, you really need to see this part. I'm not like... This guy who loves to bash and be negative, but there are some things I need to show you. And I'm not talking about the non wiggle stick. Oh, don't forget to check out the review, the comparison, and now you're already here. It would be awesome if you joined the channel. So subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell. And become one of the Wicked family. All right, let's go. All right, so but first let's talk about the stick and the little obvious things. Right, the number one complaint about this device is the games amount. Everybody is talking about it. 16 games is too less. But what I find even more concerning that there is no information that we can upgrade in the future that Capcom are releasing, let's say more like USB can, sticks that you can buy with more games whatsoever. No, there is nothing. I hope they will do something with this, let's say collectible stick. Otherwise it would be a very expensive collectible. I love it. It looks amazing, but that would be a very cool thing. If you watch my live stream on the gaming channel, and some of you did notice it, but pressing the button for a couple of hours, and of course now it's not doing, it's always when I'm trying to record something, it doesn't do the thing that I wanted to show, but it was getting really squeaky, and that was really annoying. So that is a very good concern, and a great concern, because even if this button is getting broken, all right, how do you get a replacement? Because otherwise, if you're putting, let's say, blue or black buttons in it, it looks freaking hideous. Then it's a real Frankenstein stick. What I think is also really shitty about this thing, that there's only a USB connection that we cannot use for adding more games or whatsoever. But what I think is more annoying that we're only having HDMI. For example, what I did with the Pandora box comparison, it even has a check out. So if you want to use, for example, a headphone or you want to use an external amplifier, or speakers, there is no way of getting audio out of this thing. So we only have the HDMI. So that's a little bit of a really annoying thing. That brings us to the next point. What I don't get, even with the cheap P Pandora boxes, we are getting a little speaker. I don't know what you think of this. I really love to know from you. What do you think of a speaker inside and let's say in casing? Um, yes, with the cheap, very cheap blue version I've reviewed in the past, even that one had a speaker. And I think it's really convenient if you don't have a speaker in your LCD monitor, for example. It's a little bit extra and they just level it out. That brings us to the next part and the next problem. Alright, right, so we're having this boot menu. Yes. Koch Media has been importing this Capcom stick. Very cool that you give us the possibility to buy it. When you're thinking, what is the problem? That boot up takes around, let's say, 20 seconds. Let's play playing game. Let's try right 90, 90, 40, 40, 4, 4. Okay, so the, so the problem with this thing is when you are in the game, pressing two buttons, we're getting the menu, we're going back. And as you can see, it doesn't go straight to the menu. No, it reboots the full system. So we're going to get this annoying intro every single time we swap a game. I don't know what you think of this, but, but I think this is annoying. Especially when I'm doing a live stream. I'm a live stream goes apeshit because this thing totally re reboots. Why doesn't Pandora Box have the option to go back in the menu? And this stupid thing, thing reboots. Man, fix this. It would be very nice. And this is what I really messed up. When you're scrolling through the list, and sometimes you just do a little chill, do it one by one. But if you want to scroll, you can hold the joystick. But if you want to be a little bit faster, you want to click it more often. And this is what basically happens. <laughs> that is really bad. So, or you just need to click once. 
why you need to hold it when you're doing it multiple times after each other. This is what you're going to. <laughs> it is really bad. What do you think of this? <laughs> I think what is a problem with the Capcom Home Arcade, the combination with the Elgato HTC 60, it works very horrible. You can already hear it with, with my voice, it's stuttering, it's not, not working very well. I did a live stream, the full live stream was, I would not say a little bit of a messed up, but still you're having some problems with the microphone, game that really were not sounding like it should be simply because, because there is something wrong it's, it's more like a software um, slash hardware conflict so if you want to do some streaming and playing around with it then this is going to be a problem it can we get better when you're playing a game i'm going to, to full crack up the volume let's see, see if we can still hear myself and how the volume sounds but most of the time when we're going to record something, and it can give us a lot of problems. So that is something that is very concerning. Alright, so let's play a little bit. And I'm going to show you how is the quality when recording some stuff. Alright. Fun game. Very difficult game, but... It's a fun game. Oh yeah, the squeaky button is, is back. All right, here comes the next problem. If you accidentally press, press the button when bo booting up, it will not first show you the man manual and boot up straight into the game. Or, or sometimes it shows you the game and then just selects automatic. Ah, now it shows the game, and as you can see, didn't press the button, it sees an input. So I don't know what is wrong with this, but that is some re really weird programming. So again, you need to look out that you don't push the button when you are booting up the system. <laughs> that is something is really bad. Alright, so that brings us to this problem. The buttons have an, are very, very, very sensitive. So, for, for example, when I'm pressing it, I'm going to show you in the video. As you can see, I'm not e even pushing it in, I'm just touching it. And as you can see, they, they are very sensitive. Didn't even hear, hear the click at all. Okay, I'm going to show you what. what. And, and as you can see, all the buttons are very, very sensitive. So maybe this can be something that I'm a really bit, little bit picky about, but I'm used to Chinese buttons that are clicky and have a very long travel. So if you accidentally lean your hand on it, it doesn't do, let's say, an input. All right, so let's play a little bit of Street Fighter 2. The emulation on this device is pretty good, but I noticed something with Street Fighter 2 that is really concerning. I'm going to do, an, let's say, a short gameplay and leave in the comment section Am I right? This can be normal or I'm totally wrong. So, love to know from you. Let's go. Round two, fight! <laughs> 
All right, so I want to point out this is not for making a very negative video. This is not for extremely bashing this product. I just want to show you what I think it's wrong and they can do way better with this Capcom stick. I really love to hear your opinion. Maybe this video helped you out decide what kind of product you need to get. So leave it in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.